It is from here in Dakar's Tiaroye Beach that Mustafa said goodbye to his young family in 2016 before embarking on the dangerous sea journey to Europe. When I embarked on my sea journey to Europe, I was aware of all the dangers there, but I still took the risk. Mustafa was among about 100 men making the journey on that day, hoping to possibly get to Europe and support his family better. However, that dream was short-lived. When their boat got to Libyan waters, they were turned away. And as a result, he spent six good months in Libya stranded, trying to free himself from his captives, the mafia smugglers. What is happening in Libya today is almost similar to the times of slavery, when we left our homes to look for work in order to feed our families. When people get to Libya, things turn for the worse. Some are killed like flies because of money. There's even human kidney trafficking in Libya. Since his return home, Mustafa has embarked on another journey, one that he hopes will stop the illegal migration out of his country, Senegal. Every afternoon in his Tiaroya town, he organizes small meetings with the young people. Mustafa's fight is admittedly noble, but there's still a long way to go in a country where young people are unable to find decent work. After two failed attempts in boats, I made a commitment to create the Association of Returnees of Tiaroya Coast. The aim of the association is to make these young people aware of the dangers of illegal immigration. Currently, the association has 340 members. We have participated in several sensitization seminars here in Senegal. We do not have the means, but we continue our struggle to raise awareness among all those young people who want to live. The first cases of clandestine emigration were recorded in the 1970s in Senegal, especially in the north. According to a study carried out between January 2016 and March 2017, more than 374 young people from the commune of Tiaroyes coast have perished in clandestine boats in recent years. Leslie Marungu, CGTN.